Hello, 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 it's Dolly, and I am back to show you how I created this Halloween layout using the Spooktacular Paper Pack with Sticker and Shimmer Trim from Close to My Heart. And all I brought in for this quick, fun, and you can say on a budget layout using some adhesive, some foam squares, this little tool, you'll see what I'm going to do with this little um, hole punch. Brought in a vellum piece and this black cardstock. And then also I brought in, brought in or added to this kit white daisy cardstock. Alright, now before I start creating this layout, let's review the products close up. So of course, this is not the product, this is the photographs, two photographs that I am documenting of my niece back in 2001. All right, we're gonna move this to the side. Here is Close to My Heart Shimmer Trim, which is such an essential item to have in your stash. There's lots of ways you can use this trim, and I'm gonna show you one way that you may never have thought of using. All right, and then from the kit, which I have a haul video that was posted on October 3rd. From that kit, like I said, there are six sheets of paper, double-sided. I selected this polka dot that has yellow, green, orange, and white, black background with the polka dot, and then this purple. As you can see, my niece is actually, I got two nieces in here. Um, and my one is wearing purple and the other one's wearing pink. Now the opposite side, you could definitely, this is, yep, this screams all Halloween. So definitely, this is the only paper pack in there that on one side screams totally Halloween. It would be hard to work this in a different type of layout at, other than Halloween. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to stumble on my words. But look how gorgeous this green is. And that's on the opposite side of the purple. Oh my gosh. But anyway, it's just, just gorgeous. gorgeous. You could pair it up this way, but I am using it this way. And this is that white daisy cardstock from Close to My Heart. And then there's that sticker sheet. So the first thing I want to do, and the white daisy cardstock is going to be my main base. I'm going to take the purple paper here. And one great thing is that the design can go this way or it can go this way. It doesn't matter. So it makes it really easy. And because I'm going to have a border on the side, and I'm gonna have a strip in the middle, which I'm gonna use one of these branding strips, which is about a half an inch. I want to cut this paper five inches by 12. And I'm gonna do that for both. So see, look at, I have all of this still to use on another layout or make a card and I'm just using two sheets from that paper pack so you can definitely stretch it a long ways and I think I'm gonna have a border that's all the way around so I'm gonna strip in the middle I'm gonna have a thick border. So I should probably cut this, let's say by, let's go 11 and a half. Well, no, let's try 11. Let's start with 11 because you know what? You can always take off a little bit more. If you take too much, then you're stuck. So let's go by 11. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay, so 11 it is. So this paper is cut five 
by 11. Wow. So how's everybody doing? Oops, sorry. I didn't mean to make that slam down. Are you ready for Thanksgiving and Christmas? Can you believe it? It's that time of the year. I think I'm going to like that. Now I have to decide which branding strip that I want to put in the middle. I think I want that purple. Or I can use the gray. Which one do you think? I think I'm going to go with the purple and black. The gray would work fine. It would offset it some more, make it stand out. But I'm going to go and have the two colors blend together, but have a different pattern, and it'll still pop. So this is the idea right here. Cool, right? So exciting. See, look how quick this is going to be. Now I did put a thin mat already around these photographs and I'm going to lay them like this. Look at awesome. All right. Let me pause for a moment and let me secure these down, all right? And I'll be right back. Now it's time for the little bit of embellishing using the sticker pack. All right, so my idea here is to have a little cluster here and maybe a title or something or some sticker titles and something down right along here. I'm sorry viewers, I lost some footage. I was trying to make this entire video real time, but my phone overheated and so therefore it would just like stop, freeze in spots. So I had to come in and do a voiceover and piece what I could together. So anyway, as you can tell, I've already done my clusters. Now I have taken my shimmer trim and that little uh, punch which you used to like you know punch paper with and I am punching out six little round dots using them like enamel circles or sequins so if you never thought about that get out your punches your trim like that and you can create embellishments using that now our trim the close to heart close to my heart trim has a clear backing because it is self adhesive so you take up take off the clear backing and then those um, stick right away. All right, let's get to the clusters that um, I wasn't able to show you how I put it together. Okay, the little cluster to the lower right hand corner, that sticker, all the stickers came off the sticker pack from um, uh, Spooktacular, I had to remember. That little purple sticker, oh that my hand's covering right now, says focus, I mean, Hocus Pocus, need candy to focus. Isn't that cute? And then I have a spider sticker and a candy corn sticker in the upper left of that sticker. Moving to the left, of course, you see my owl, and I backed that with that spider web. And then there's a sticker that says, Happy Halloween. And then I took that shimmer trim, cut a piece off, did a fishtail to match the other sticker and then I've got the yellow stars and then the bats up there in the upper right hand corner. All right, if you do not have a close to my heart consultant, I would love to have you as a customer. My contact information is coming up, but I wanna just let you know that yes, in the month of October, I am focusing on the products that were released in September and October. That won't always be the case. Um, in the future months, I mean, I will always be focusing on products, but I will also be bringing you layouts from other manufacturers and mixing the both together. All right, I appreciate you all. Get out your photographs and document those memories. See you next time. Bye.